I don't feel like these fish are adding anything except for decor. <sighs> Damn it. Oh, this actually, it looks like uh, the fish feeder is empty anyways. Whoops. Oh, man. Yeah, good. We'll get that running for a second. Our food supply is recovering very slowly, but recovering. <clears throat> Let me see. We have some. Where is the? See, this is flown up here. Okay. I think we could go ahead and patch this in into here. Just have it just patch in and just let it. Or uh, maybe bridge it right here, actually. Just to give it another option, just to get some more air into the base. We don't have, a, we don't have a, a, a lack of air issue, we have a distribution issue. So that should get it... Kind of split this up a little bit. We'll still have some that's going to go over here, but then, you know, get a little split. I think that should be good. Can they eat the fish? They sure can! But there's no way to, like, uh, to, to automatically control overpopulation, so it kind of becomes a bit of a pain in the ass. This is done, I think. We could go ahead and disable that. Because this is just getting too high here. And the, these things are running, right? Uh, this is gonna go dormant in 24 cycles. God, we have so much water. This is dormant, comes back in 25 cycles. They're just gonna take turns for a while. That's great. Ooh, so warm. That's gonna change through that bridge is built, though, I think. <clears throat> is it actually exchanging? Oh, no, that was a bad place to put that. Because the split still happens right here, and that I need to get it like past the split. All right, deconstruct that. Because there's no problem. There's plenty of oxygen in this line. So patching it before that split doesn't make any sense. After the split is what we want. So we'll put it... Uh, we'll just connect it, I guess. And I guess it'll just do... a little bit on either side. Maybe this will be the, the rooms, and that will just go over there. Well, let's see what happens. We can always just snip it later. Oh, great. It's gonna go that way. <laughs> well, let's snip that too. Let's snip this over. There we go. Because it's still regulated, right? So it's still gonna be under some kind of uh, flow control. As long as we have enough for the suits. Can we make... Can we, is it possible to make an alarm? Does it, is there something in the game that plays a sound? I want to set up. I want an alarm that goes off. Let's see, germ sensor, critter sensor, space scanner, duplicate checkpoints, uh, memory toggle, clock sensor, hydro sensor. No, okay, that sucks. I would love, like, if, like, if I have this sensor right here, that would like trigger an alarm after so many seconds. Oh, there actually is a way to have a delay, which is. Not gonna do anything for me right now, but isn't there a there's a buffer gate? Ah, that's what we need. Like a capacitor. Put that there. And then we'll wire that way it's not doing this nonsense constantly. So down there, and that goes there, and then we'll cut these. And then we configure this to be we'll give it like a... Uh, oops. Five seconds, perfect. Now it should, once it's connected here, we should not see this thing trigger at all. Yeah, good. That's kind of nice, yeah, that's perfect. That's exactly what we want to see. It's gonna, cause this is gonna keep toggling like crazy. We don't need everything shutting off, turning on like like mad. It's, it's just whatever it's needed. Like really need, uh, carbon dioxide. My man, Omni. Oh, we were just talking about you earlier. I was like, Omni's usually here later on cause you got gifted the sub. What's up? There was a lot of people gifting subs earlier today, so I don't know exactly who was that got you. But somebody did. Uh oh, what is this? Oh, Brian, still. Negative 187, so good. We're not, we haven't put a dent in that. The liquid is still cooling. I think we found a good heavy medium here. The fam got you, that's right. There is something that only runs once a day. I'm trying to think of what it was. Wow, 300 second delay. Is 300 seconds the... Is that a day cycle? I don't actually know. One of these years, we're going to do something with all this cold water that we've been uh, hoarding over here. Okay, this is off. Disable automation grid. 
There's a lot of carbon dioxide. Just just slap a couple of uh, oxygen ferns in there. It'll be fine. 138 degrees. Actually, 138 degrees isn't so bad. But that's a lot of hydrogen or carbon dioxide. It's not going to happen. Uh, let's vent it out. Let's vent it out into space. Whoa, man. Look at that. That's nasty. It's all just like cushioned in here. It can't get out. Pressure going to build up. Heat's going to build up. That's going to be a problem soon. Yeah, I say we just put a vent and then just have this shit just eject out into space. Hey, maybe there's 2,000. Man, you get 2,000 from it. That's beautiful. Yeah, let's do it. Space ventilation time. Seal off the oxygen first. What do you mean? Oh, uh, I was going to... Oh, I see what you're saying. Oh, that's fucking big smart right there. No, 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 no. You're on the right, you're on the right trail. We'll do this. We'll seal this up. We will, uh, we'll put a door here. Because it can't get over here any other way. It doesn't look like it. <laughs> Master plan community, guys. Uh, we'll put a door right here. Put a little tile right there. It kind of a bitch to get to that, but... It's fine. Oh, actually, you know what we could do? We could do uh, some airflow tiles straight across here. Or maybe she's mesh tiles. What do we have that's nearby? Iron ore. Who's iron ore? Some iron tiles. Echo! Yeah, so, so yo, you're right. Let's seal it in here. Put a door on this side, too. That way it'll continue to produce, and then we'll put, we've got a vent here. We'll just inject it out into space, here, this way. Pretty hot too, so. And then we'll just, I mean, everything that's in this room, we'll just get rid of, right? We'll put a small sensor just to keep track, but basically just toss it. And then what we'll do is we'll lock this door. Uh, is that a good place to put that? No, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. We gotta put it down at the bottom. Yeah, this makes sense. So yeah, you know, you're absolutely right. Uh, if we get it, if we get it down here, and then we just allow it to, if it's at, let's see, what's the melting point? Overheat temperature. Okay, it's gonna get over that. Maybe I should make out a steel just in case. You know, because we got so much steel. <laughs> yeah, we should make out a steel. Then gas pipes. And we'll just have it just, just continually just dump, just dump. Oh no, no, do that. <laughs> Oh, wait. Oh, wait, 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 wait. We already have a path to get this stuff out. We might have to throttle it a little, throttle it just a smidge, but we have a path. We just hook it back up to this, and this will take it right out. Uh, we should throttle it, though. How should we throttle it? Like, using, obviously, obviously using a valve. But how much should we do? I don't know. Let's see. First, let's get this thing hooked up. Good. Power needs power. It can run off the power generated by this room. Or this area. And then, if we get more liquid in here, we'll just raise this up a little bit. Uh, it is a clock sensor. Triggers. Oh, yeah, yeah. There is a clock sensor. I don't. I don't yeah, I don't know what I could use that for, though. I honestly don't know what I would use that for. So I guess we don't need this then. It was fun, you know, nice. Venting shit out from space is always fun. Okay, so this has got to go, because if we put a thousand, then it, there, nothing else is going to squeeze in here. So all the other generators and everything is going to get backed up. So let's do 500. Uh, yeah, 500 should be good. And then I'll patch into that, and that'll just go and eject out into space the same way ever. See, all these are all here too. And these are what? 67. These are small bits, but still, it gets built up and built up to what? Oh, it's still really low. So we could go higher than 500 for sure. And we'll make it like 750. Uh oh. Once a day feeding the fish. Oh, do they not already do that? Yeah, that's the thing. The uh, the automation with the I see, yeah, I see where you're going with this. Um, yeah, the automation with the um, with 
the fish feeder and also overcrowding and all that. So I feel like this is a lot. I don't know if it's... If it really makes... Like, right now, I, just don't, I don't really see a, a, a need to keep a bunch of fish. Oh, the fish feeder does automatically do it, doesn't it? That's right. So this thing's... This is good. It's only running periodically? Why is it running periodically? Oh, I bet it's pressure. It's idle. Oh, automation grid? Oh, oh, wow, because it charges it up so fast. <sighs> That's beautiful. That's a beautiful thing. <laughs> Just instantly charges it up. Holy crap. Uh oh, one of the Poke Shells died. Aw. How's our base? Getting back. Getting back. This area is great. The food supply is great. A little bit warm in some areas, but overall good. They're hanging out in there now. <laughs> That's a problem. Stop hanging out in the fucking food room. Create a tablet. Uh, Critter Sensor could also have me live. Really? Let me see how that works. I saw that. I was under food. Critter Sensor. Critter Sensor. Oh, fuck. Oh, it's going to be on automation. Critter Sensor. Sends a green signal, a red signal based on the number of eggs and critters in a room. Oh, detecting critter populations can help adjust their automated feeding and care regimens. So, I think all the fish are dead, by the way. <laughs> yeah, all the fish are dead. <laughs> What's the temperature in here? 152 degrees? Ah, maybe we made fish fries out of them. <laughs> Boiled fish. Well, next time we get fish, we'll look into that. Yeah? <laughs> but right now, it's fine. All right, how's our split going? Good, that's all I want to see. I want to see it backed up right there. Cold air rushing in at a moderate pace. Nice cold pipe going right out the middle. <laughs> Sexy. And yeah, we'll eventually get this heat under control for sure. And I think I think this is good. We have the oh good, they finished this. Okay, all of this is actually fine. What I was gonna do is actually replace these ones, the first few, with um, with uh, steel, steel reservoirs. I can't think of any other reason to use steel reservoirs right now, so let's do it. How much is it using? 400 each? It's expensive. And then once these start breaking, then we'll replace those too. Reservoirs, man, it's crazy. What's our what's our load on this line though? Uh 720 with a potential of a whole lot more. So that means that right now we could also run the plastic uh polymer press, but we have 18 tons of plastic we have not used yet, so maybe just I don't know. Maybe we just don't do that. <laughs> I guess. Um in terms of exploration. Rock Crusher is fine. Hydrogen build up up here. But it's still, it's operating up here. But yeah, hydrogen's built up because of the lack of, uh, the lack of the, of, uh, um, oxygen. Space! I know, I'm excited. I want to go to space. I really, truly do. But they can't go out here without suits. So, I think we run some tubes. We run a tube up there somehow. Don't know how. Yeah, I don't know how. <laughs> uh, yeah, where am I gonna squeeze this tube in? How about this? Let's, uh, at the very least, we can get started. Uh, we'll get, we'll kill the pole, and we'll get started on getting the, the the tubes at least going that direction. You know. Yeah. So once that's done, yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll, 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 we'll get the tubes going up here, up here, and then we'll figure out how to get them from 
from down here. So we, that way we only have to have one check-in area. Um, who they can all use. Less power. We only have like three or four of them running. It's just a matter of getting it to, to go up and around somehow. And I think maybe we should go ahead and crack this open. And just let all this stuff fall and just propagate however it wants to. I mean, it's a mix of we've got carbon dioxide, we've got natural gas, we've got oxygen, we've got hydrogen. And none of this, none of this is impacting the base. Um, because it's all sealed off. Uh, and it's definitely not going to make its way through all this oxygen to fight its way into this room. And if it does, I think we have methods to take care of that. So yeah, let's, let's go ahead and we'll run the pipe up. Oh, shit. The, the, the reservoirs are just in the wrong spot. And they're so tightly packed in there. Can you build these things butt to butt? Let's try. Thank you, Biffy. It's good. It's good. Uh, it's a good test. Now, question is, can I build something on top of it? It looks like that's a yes. Well, I have my answer. So, this is not that hard at all. All we're going to do is just have it go up and over and then we'll just build like a like right here or somewhere well not right there. Maybe right up here somewhere, right right here. We'll have it just curve in and then go out into here and then we'll just shoot it off like out into, out in the fucking space. Um this place gets bigger every day. It does. So it's going deconstruct or just open it for now. No, deconstruct it. Yeah. Deconstruct this. This is gonna really change like the dynamic of, of this separation here for sure. Once they open the door. <laughs> here we go, boys. Open the door. Oh, 950! We made it to 950. We're gonna make it past 950. Good. We're gonna go as far as we could go today. As far as we could go. Okay, so we could bring this. I don't think... We might have to sacrifice one reservoir. Yeah, probably have to sacrifice at least one reservoir here. And then what we'll do is... Because, yeah, I can't make that turn. So we'll go... Like that. And then transit tube. Can I make a U-turn right when it comes out? No, cannot. Okay, so go over, up. Uh, can it connect? I don't think it can't connect right away, so we have to go up like this, and then we'll build two more transit tubes. You know, up. This is a mess. <laughs> this is a fucking mess. But it's gonna work though. It's gonna get us up to. Uh, it's gonna get us up to space. Can't go. Oh wait, can I? Can't make a U turn. Ooh, maybe there's a better way to do this here. This one to get rid of this. Take us from that. We might have to kill this one reservoir, and that might be it, because I think it requires at least this. This one is here, right here as well. Yeah, it sucks. And there's no way to get around that, unfortunately. Can get this in. Can't turn there. Why can't you turn there? Oh, cause it's too close. So yeah, we're gonna have to lose that reservoir. So deconstruct that. Which means if we lose that reservoir, we might as well just not build these back to back. Cancel those. That one's done. Deconstruct that. <laughs> the cam has been beaten. <laughs> yeah, huh? <laughs> Didn't think about it like that. Let's uh, pipe pipe dream. Oh, cool. That easy bypass actually. Let's go right up into. Do you... good. Then we'll just delete this. We can now make this turn. Now 
now we're attached. And then I could go... Uh, mm, turn. And then... I think what I should do is... We should go through and replace all of this with insulated. There we go. <clears throat> oh, that's not connected. Can you reach those? Unreachable build, damn. Just in case. So yeah, once they build that, then we will push this pipe straight up. We'll eliminate all this, all this wall right here, which I don't think there's anything even over here. Like, no water, nothing. Yeah, good. Okay. I guess basically all of it. This is a jank-ass way of doing this, guys, but this is going to work. That's all that matters. Put there and there and there, and then it's off to space. Oh wait. Yes. Oh, I, I forgot to get this. <laughs> it's unreachable now. <laughs> Is it unreachable? Can they not get it? Oh yeah, they can't get it. That's funny. Oops. So we're gonna kill the fireman's pole basically all the way up. Like no fireman's pole. Oops, I need auto repair, whatever. Oh, I'm hungry, damn. Uh, shy nymph egg, oh wow, I haven't seen one of those in a long time. Do I have an ink, ink, egg, egg incubator? Anyways, let's go ahead and get this done, get rid of that. And actually, we can probably stop right there. So, good, look at this. Not leaking anywhere, right? I don't think so. And then this is going to go straight up and over, so we'll go just above their head so they can still reach it to do the work. Come to here, and yeah, see, one more. Deconstruct. Stat. And this is going to U-turn. Oh. Did that actually work? Is that technically not there? I wonder. Oh, it is. Okay, cool. Then we'll go straight up. Bust through this wall. Oh, fuck. <laughs> uh, I guess this is okay so long as we keep the door down there locked. So we can just have them come out here and just, you know, up and over. God damn that thing. Can't you turn? Can they get out right there? I feel like it was a tight squeeze. Let's come back here. Let me see. Get this in. So yeah, this door right here, we'll have to just keep locked so that nobody could go through. Uh, which is fine. I mean, especially if we have a tube going up there, then just, just suits only. Where did the printer come from? I don't know. I, I've never beat the game. <laughs> I don't know the story. Hey, oxygen is looking pretty good, guys. Ish. <laughs> Good-ish. That's all we need. It's good steady flow. Nice and cool, nice and oxygenated in there. The more we get, the more the hydrogen gets pushed up. Up, 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 up. And then it gets sucked up by this, which is off because the green signal and red signal atmospheric sensor, it's above. Oh, it's pretty thin. Yeah, it's pretty thin. Okay. Throw in a room. Throw them in a room with a solar generator. I have solar panels. Can make that work. Yeah, we can't. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna admin this shit out. Let's pause real quick. Let me see. Uh, elements. We'll make replace it with um. Oh, whoops! We'll replace it with like um, dirt. Dirt solid. There we go. And we will paint. There. I hate these things. You can't. You can't delete. For reals? Well, these things I could take apart now, so that's fine. 
Hey, look at all this dirt I just spawned for myself, guys. <laughs> Rich. I didn't remove it then. Oh, I did this exact thing, the same thing before. You tell me that this is not gonna this. Oh, the light fixtures underneath. Oh my god, that's right. Ooh, why? <laughs> why? Yeah, I can see it right now. Yeah, I'm looking at it. Oh man. Hey, look at the. Uh, wow, there's only three things here. <laughs> I'm so used to seeing a list. I even moved chat because of it. There's no hard delete yet. Yeah, well, I don't know actually. Let me see. Let me pause. Paint, fill, spawn all, sample, uh, building cells. I, I don't use I don't use this tool very much. So, is this the basin rule tools? Delete. No. Uh, destroy or deconstruct? Destroy. Oh, there we go. Destroy. Awesome. Get out of here. Oh, shit. Uh, eh, fine. We'll replace it. <laughs> okay, that was a bit much. That's the cost. That's the cost right there. Okay, we, lo we, lo we lost some ventilation in, in the uh, in the mix, but that's the price that you pay. Carbon dioxide everywhere now. It's rushing back into the base. Awesome. Big ol' <laughs> big old cheater. I'll take it. I'll take it. Fuck those things. All right, up and around, and then... Boop! Perfect! And then... Uh... Let's see... I guess we get to that point. We'll... Yeah, so we'll... We're gonna stop them from going in. Just a minute. So, don't go in. But go out. Uh-oh. I did that wrong! Backwards! It was backwards! Sorry! <laughs> Beautiful. So now the only way to get up here is... Oh, shit. <laughs> they weren't done building. Let's do that again. <laughs> I jumped the gun. And you know, I have so much plastic. Let's put, put plastic ladder all the way up and down this thing. Still have 10 tons of plastic. <laughs> You can't just go and delete things of life that are in your way. Watch me! Oh, they can't reach that. <laughs> this is great. Oh my god. We're actually getting getting close to space. Oh, plastic baby. floors, plastic everything, yes. Oh, actually, that's a good idea. We're on the base. Martha! Hi all, having a bit of a bad day, so nice to have somewhere to come and relax. Oh, well, sh shit, Martha, I'm sorry you had a bad day, but welcome. Please, uh, pull up a seat, relax. Please do. We ain't doing shit, but just wasting plastic. <laughs> Putting plastic everywhere. So this is still functional, right? Okay, good. Yeah, yeah, works. We, we just lost a little bit here, but so what? Yeah, wow, plastic floors, man. Hmm. Let's put, uh, let's put plastic floors in here. Just because we can. Just because we can. This room is gonna be sweet. <laughs> and whatever that guy said. Just, ha <laughs> don't put Mike on a third monitor. Just don't do that. Plastic ladder. Once the plastic ladder is done, and this is done, then we done. Well, we're done with this, uh, with the pipes here. Oh, <laughs> the plastic tile re-triggers it. Thimble reed seed. Ooh, it's so fancy. Look at it. Look at the decor. Uh, debris, printing pod. Oh, it doesn't say anything about floor, but I guess, uh, they run faster. Wow, they run much faster across it. No one puts Mike on a third monitor. That's right. So I don't think they need that. So we could go ahead and tell them to not go back in there again. And that's it. So now, anytime they gotta do something up there, they should take the express. The, the plastic express. What's wrong with this? No landing available. Are you fucking kidding me? It's too high. 
Okay, we're almost there. We're almost there. There. You know, it's funny, I did that before only as a courtesy, right? Like, I, I would- I set those up little landing things just as a courtesy. I didn't realize that you had to have them. I thought for sure at some point we could just, just for lulls, just like have them some, drop someone off out of a tube and just shoot them across like the entire base. But yeah, you can't do that. We'll science that later. Build it! What are you guys doing? Oh, it's nighttime. Oh, never mind. Don has got it! Oh, Don is the night crew! Now you guys are done in there. Shit, what was it, that one? How about both ways? <laughs> Oh yeah, I have to do both ways, because otherwise the guys in the suits will come down here and start walking around. It's kind of like, <laughs> I'm just on a, on a lunch break. <laughs> oh, oh shit. You know what, though? They actually don't have a way to get back. I didn't think about that. Luckily, this line is the least used line at 600 watts potential load. Which means, we could just slap one of those machines in there, and it'll work fucking fine. Yes! Transit tube access. We'll just slap it in there. We'll just attach to the cable that's already basically not being used. Suicide missions. Absolutely everything. And this whole thing is a suicide mission. This whole game. There we go. Let's get rid of this, too. I wonder if we should make this like an override. No, 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 no. Deconstruct the gas element sensor. <laughs> they built this so fast that someone just took off on it. Where'd they go? Okay, now he's just got how'd I get here? Chaos. <laughs> he made it past the red zone. There we go. Now no one else can get in there. Great. Good. So now let's this is do a test and this is have them like oh, dig. Dig this right here. Dig this out here too. Dig it. I have to pee. I'm gonna have to ditch you guys for a second so I can go utilize latrine, not gonna lie. There we go, that's what I... What the... That was it? Oh, it's only five, I guess so. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna use the restroom. But we have oxygen. And a fair amount, so we're good there. We have oxygen backed up in the lines, uh, which is good. We have carbon dioxide being pumped out into space. We have uh, this area here, which is looking nice and thin on the atmosphere, which is also fine. Uh, we have steel, we have plastic, we have so many things. Uh, see, this is still pumping. We should probably put a sensor on this to only pump when it gets to a certain amount. I, I said I was gonna do that before and I did not, so apologies for that. Let's see, we'll do an atmospheric sensor, and we'll just put it like right here, and then we'll just connect it. There we go. Furious Purple, have a good night! Enjoy your night! I, as soon as this is done, am gonna go utilize the restroom. So we'll just say over a thousand, ah, uh, over 500, we'll keep it clean. There we go. Cause it's gonna settle right here anyways, so good. Have it settle, have it send. See, we have plenty of petroleum. How are we doing over here? We're filling it up. No overheat issues. We are at, we are having issues in here, though. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's oil all over the floor. <laughs> oh, man. It's probably creating a lot of heat, too. Yikes. All right. Well, look at this for a minute. We'll let it just cruise. Uh, Not on dev speed, because you never know what will happen there. Okay, I'm going to piss my pants. Oh, I'll be right back. God. Damn it.